What if you could unlock the mystery to your subconscious, the unknown, to really understand what drives you, the things you think, the ways you feel, and the things that you do? After nearly 25 years of brain research, Dr. Mangadze has. It's called brain mapping, described to be a natural MRI. And it's as simple as coloring in this brain with these crayons. It's the brain's way of saying, I know what's going on, and if you ask me, I'll tell you. The colors that the brain uses to project, whether it's anxiety or depression, or fear or something like that. Those colors will show up in the areas of the brain that are having those problems. From a brain map, we can see if someone was traumatized, whether it be sexual abuse, physical abuse, uh, family trauma, spiritual abuse. We can also tell if the person is depressed or if they are anxious. We can tell if they have addictions. I noticed that uh, there is a, a need for, for nurturing, a need for love and attention that usually we see when someone didn't get enough of that when they were growing up. Uh, I know that, why? Because part of your brain that really tells us of how you cope with life every time or every day, that area has a, a little touch of sadness there. If we just think that the brain only talks in words, we'll miss more than 50% of the messages from it. Uh, the other thing that we see there is on the outside of your brain, you show that there's a lot of what I would call uh, a lot of church activity, uh, a lot of religiosity, yeah. but at the expense of freedom. Yeah. That's not bad, but sometimes it creates uh, a sense of obligation, mm -hmm. a sense of performance, or well, our brain is very organized, very insightful, and it controls us instead of us controlling it. So it is the one that actually picks up a color that it knows is going to communicate this thing that it needs to communicate. What I probably think in your brain is probably the biggest issue is anxiety. Yes. You, you have some very anxious thoughts, the way you yes. think. Well, that one, if it keeps going in the area of your brain, what we call the hypothalamus that governs our sleep, it will begin to affect your sleep. Yes, I do, I have. That's, that's very interesting, doctor. So when we are talking about people's problems, we are looking to see what's showing up in these areas of the, of the brain. For example, someone with a lot of problems in the frontal cortex means that person is going to struggle with their functioning life. Someone with some problems in the brainstem, we know they're going to have some physical problems. But anxiety has moved also spread into what we call the brain stem. So what that means is that you haven't been able to deal with this anxiety, okay. so it's beginning to affect you physically. If we could just work on the anxiety, the anxiety <laughs> there, we'll be do, doing pretty good. And then actually when we do that, if we could just uh, turn down this whole religiosity that we see there, there will be a lot more freedom and your life will be much, much happier. It can be used for diagnostic purposes. It can also be used to, to train people to know how to manage their own brain, therefore being able to manage their own life. These restrictions yes. for creative people, which you're one of those, stifles your creativity. Yes, absolutely. They think this somehow it's my knowledge. What they don't realize is all I do is I, I'm able to hear what your brain is saying. But I'm not the one who's saying these things. It's your brain saying it to you.